Hello everyone, welcome back to Tech It. This is episode uh, 31, I believe. And in this episode, I think we're going to get started on Miscraft. Now, first thing I want to be able to make is I need actually some books quickly. So, I believe we do have some books. I have a feeling they're in the other building, though. I don't think they'll be in this. Okay, we'll go and run and get them. Uh, it is night time, so we're actually just going to sleep while we're in this building. Whew. Right. We need some books. I believe we have quite a few, so they may not be in here though. If not, we've got some sugar cane, so we can make some. And we've got a little bit a little bit of leather as well, so we can make some if we need to, so not too bad. Oh, that's a fail. Okay. Some books, some books, some books. Where are you? You know in here. Oh yeah, there they are. Okay, right now what you're gonna need for um the books Oh, actually, let me just run and get something quickly. Let me just chuck this in here then. I'm just going to go ahead and chuck that in the electric furnace. Get that cooking. Uh, chuck a bunch of this rubbish in. I don't really need one piece of charcoal now, do I? Okay. Right, what do we do? What do we have? Nice. Okay. Oh, I forgot what it's called. Uh, stand? Is it a stand? Yeah, there is. Yeah, uh, book stand. That's the one. Right, it's just two two books and a stick. That's how easy it is to get into Miscraft. Two books and a stick. So that's what we're gonna go ahead and do. And uh, no, not two books. Two sticks and a plank. Even. Give me that. Right. Nice. All right. How many of these should we make? We should make. We just make five. They're easy to make. Uh, so actually four. Well, no, we could make five, couldn't we? If we just make a couple more sticks. There's five, and then we could just make six. We're not going to need that many, but hopefully we will be fine. Right now, I believe we need some linking books. So to make some linking books, what you want to do is you want to go to the place where you want to start. So actually, may mine may be the factory. Um, hmm. Let me just take that off a minute. Let's just chuck the nano suit armor back on. Because I don't want to be flying everywhere or glitching through a door in that matter. Okay, right. So we're just going to um, maybe. Let me just sort something out a minute with the electric wrench. Because I believe what I've just done with the uh, iron furnace over there is I just destroyed it and replaced it and it gave the texture back. So I'm hoping it does the same with this. It doesn't turn it into a machine block. Cause it's kind of worrying when it does that. Macerator and a compressor. And then. So the exact same with this. Oh. Oh, I don't have any more power in it. Damn it. Where's my other. Oh, it's an extractor. Okay. Well, let's just go ahead and chuck some. Some energy in the wrench. Yeah, that was easy enough. And then we're just going to go ahead and grab you, and grab you. Oh, damn it, didn't click you though. Didn't collect you, we're going to run back, come on. I don't want to miss out on the old geothermal generator. Let's run, let's run. Actually, with the geothermal generator, I may actually just do something with it. If we go around and grab that, I'm just going to go ahead and stick this geothermal generator in, in the... Um, Geothermal room. I was just about to fly over, then I realised I don't have it. But anyway, back to the linking books. Okay. Simply, what you have to do is you want to grab your linking. Uh, you want to grab regular books. Uh, you know how to make regular books, and just go ahead and put them in the um, crafting table. That will give you a linking book, and these are linking books to the overworld. So, when you spawn back into the overworld, it will bring you in this exact spot. So. When I go and spawn back into the overworld, it will bring me into that spot, which is which is really nice. But I'm I'm going to use one book as well for a particular purpose. So maybe we can get rid of that Nether portal up there, because you can actually do it in the Nether. You can create a linking book in the Nether and have it just a quick way to get into the Nether. So I think that's a good idea. Uh, I'm not really sure where I want to put these though. Should we put these? I think here. 
three, four. Maybe four. Well, wait a minute. How many did we make? How did you destroy them? Go okay, right, three. Yeah, three we can always make one more, can't we? But, what we're going to need to do is we're going to go ahead and go into uh, the uh, nether quickly. Uh, do we have a linking book? Yep, just to make sure, because otherwise I probably couldn't get back. So just run over to the nether quickly. Um, just a quick trip to the nether. Downloading terrain. Holy Christ. Um, would you say this isn't a very good start? What are you doing? Just die! God! Rather rude! Right, get rid of all this lava. Uh, this lava, this fire. So I don't want it ruining my book stand, or even having, or even like standing a chance of ruining it. Now, what I want to do is I want to make a quarry in the nether. Um, I don't know, it's just kind of an idea that I would like to go down to, so... Kind of what I want to do. It's a little choice of mine. Um, I want to go ahead and get a lot of this nether rack. Holy Christ! Thing tears through it. Nice. Now we're just going to make a fairly neat staircase um, up here, like this, for example. <laughs> This is so awesome. But I want the quarry because then it can mine uh, nether ores for me as well. So we can get like nether diamond and stuff. Oh, wow, it's way too quick, this thing. Okay. It's literally a click to break things. But I kind of want to go ahead and set up our portable nether portal. So. I kind of want to kind of make some sort of good looking place to be able to set up a book stand and things because we're going we're gonna to need to put an overworld book in here so we're just going to collect a bunch of nether racks so we can kind of level this area out a bit don't you blow up but it's just that growth demo hasn't it I need to eat quickly and no, they're not going to fall nice Alright, now I'm just going to go ahead and level this, um, level it out slightly, just make things look a little bit better, as it's really easy to collect another rack. So that's what we're going to go ahead and do, like so, uh, we should got one more level, yep. Nice, we'll keep this going. Alright, jump up like so. And then, I'm going to go ahead and destroy you, because this is just too dangerous for me. So, we are going to make this a little bit more safer. Kind of risky to start with, but it has to be done. Okay. Now, I don't want you here, so... Just gonna collect you. You gotta be careful because this has got such good like efficiency on it. It will just tear through the nether rack. And it could tear through it before you know and could just kick you off the map itself. So that's not such a good thing. As you could probably tell. But I'm gonna do some sort of like barrier type thing. Um a couple of a couple high I suppose. Um, just around so it can keep us kind of shielded slightly not going to be brilliant against like gas and things but should do the job for a fair amount of time alright it's like so and then we're gonna sort this place out a little bit thank you and we're just gonna tear through all of this gotta be careful of this because gonna blow up. Yeah, that happened. I thought it was a creeper behind me. Okay, it scared the crap out of me. I was like, no, not a creeper. Okay, well we just need to 
Doesn't do too much damage when the nether walls blow up. So it's perfectly fine. We're just going to have to tear through all of this. Make things look a little bit better. Not really much of a problem, is it? Now we're like an efficiency something pickaxe. Just so blooming good. Way too quick. What is it? Efficiency 3. I'm breaking 3. We may break it here though, which is not a good thing. So the unbreaking doesn't do brilliant on it against Netherrack because it kind of registers breaking a full block. But I should have bought just a lousy pick with me here. That's pretty pointless of me destroying that actually, wasn't it? Right, let's just do it up to a fair amount of level to which it looks fairly neat. So maybe here. Like so. No, I kind of want to just grab that. So if I, what the hell? Why oh, you block me? Oh, it's just too quick. Why can I not place anything there? What the hell? Why you not let me? Oh, we'll destroy you then. Make things look a little bit better. You want to play that game? I can play it. Okay. Right. Let's raise this up again. Not like that. It's not meant to be going like that. Okay. And then, like so. We shouldn't really need the nether portal, but I'm going to keep it here just in case anything goes wrong. But I don't plan on using the nether portal anytime soon. I'm worried that this pickaxe is going to break soon. It most likely will. It's slightly dangerous. I don't really like doing that. Jump up on top. Get some of these things going. That's good enough. Collect you back. And then we're just going to raise this a couple more. There you go. Try and get rid of the whole nether the rack thing anyway. Because I don't really like nether rack too much. Okay, that's nice. We can kind of get rid of this now. Another wrap, make it look a little bit better at least. And you, another rack as well. Nice. Now we've got a little standing area we could possibly have here now. Then and uh, put a couple of torches down because it's slightly dark around this area. It's always a good thing, especially in the Nether. There's something around here as well. There you go. All right, we've got one torch left over. Which we could just go ahead and put there. There you go. Okay. Alright, so we have our little area here. So what I may go and do is just go ahead and put that in the middle there. Grab a linking book. And this is a linking book to the nether, as you can see. And you want to go ahead and I think shift right click. No. Shift click there. And you shift it click onto the um book stand. So there's the book stand there, which is actually really really cool and um, I'm kinda of buzzing for this I think it's gonna look cool alright so there's our nether linking book and we have one here and um, we're not gonna lay this down obviously until we go back into uh, the overworld so should be done here I think I've got everything right let's just go ahead and we could click into that black box there that takes us straight back over here look how cool that is and now we can go ahead and go into the geothermal room quickly go ahead uh, no not geothermal room just because I was in the nether into uh, the uh, nether room and I kinda wanna get rid of you there I don't really like you being there uh, put one there and put one there Nice, okay, right, so our nether one is actually going to be there, I think. That's probably a good place to put another one. Right, so that's going to be our nether one, so we just right-click onto there, and every time we want to go into the nether, that transports us, so we're now into the nether. It's a hell of a lot quicker than the, um, 
uh, portal and then we just click the other world and it takes us back into here so I think that's actually a really really cool feature um, I'm really liking that it's blooming awesome Miss Craft I love it alright okay I don't really want the slimes out there but I don't want to destroy my sword I need a better pickaxe need some XP sharpness too it's really better than that one to be fair okay right now We've got a bunch of linking books. Um, no, it's not an age. I don't know how. I don't know what it's called. Book. It's just type in book. Written book, enchanted book, book and quill. Descriptive book. I think it's descriptive book. Book and a feather. Hope it's not. Cause I don't have that. <laughs> Uh, book. I forgot what they're called. Just a bunch of bookshelves. Okay. Uh, that just makes linking books again. Honestly, I'm not really sure. So let's just quickly go ahead and do this. Just for the meantime, it's done it again, it's reset it all. Oh, that's fine, I'm not really fast. Uh, no, I don't want to put books in there, just put nether ore in there. Or not. How the hell do you do that then? Oh, that's the electric furnace, that's why. Oh yeah, I've got the overclockers on me, haven't I? Nice, okay. Right. Hmm... Let me think how to do this. I can't really remember. I hope it's not a descriptive book because I don't have any feathers. Oh, we may have to go on a feather hunt soon. We may have to go on a feather hunt. Anyway, um, I think it may be a descriptive book. So what I may do for the time being is just make a bunch of pipe walls proof. There's all of our pipes. We need our cobblestone transport pipes. Wait, wait. Do I have to make any more? It's fine if I do. I'm not really fast. They're not exactly hard to make, are they? Oh, we can just go ahead and make some more, can't we? Don't have too much string, but it'll be enough, right? So we're gonna go ahead and put our cobblestone that side. No, not string, glass even. I'm just gonna go ahead and make a bunch. Fifty-six is plenty. A. Um, we're just going to go to the pipe waterproof, chuck that above, and now 39 transport pipes. I'm going to go ahead and kill this blooming slime, because you're annoying me. You're annoying me, so can you please remove yourself from my facility, get away. Come here. Give me all the XP, actually, it's pretty nice. Thank you. Thank you. All right. I want to know like, how much it is, too. Repair the sapphire pick. Why am I looking in here? Why am I even looking in here? Actually, we have some more glass. Nice. Go ahead and take that over. What do we have in here? I don't have any feathers. I really do need feathers. Let me destroy you quickly. Place you back down. Oh, there's a roundville. Oh, I don't want to use this pick. I may have to. Grab our anvil. And we're going to go ahead and take it over to the facility. Right, come here, creeper. So I don't want you in the near the facility. Alright, nice. Uh, that was good. Alright, let's run back then. And we are going to make... Gonna go ahead and stick around build down somewhere. Go ahead and stick it there, can't we? And we're going to need some um uh, sapphires. Not sure how much I'm definitely not gonna have enough, but I just kinda wanna know how much it'll cost. So that so that. It's twenty-four enchantment to completely give it like brand new. That's just ridiculous. It's a really good pick though, so I don't quite wanna use it. Uh, we're going to leave that in here and we're just going to go ahead and make another one quickly. 
I'm gonna make some sticks. I'll make them all into sticks. Uh, we do need a crafting table. Oh, I had some sticks, damn it. I'm gonna just go ahead and make another sapphire pick for the time being. Chunk a bunch of rubbish in here. Cool stone pipes, sapphires don't go in there, books, uh, linking books can go with the miscraft things, I think that's pretty good, pretty good there, think we are doing well, right so we're going to need the pipes, um, got an apple for some reason and just chuck the linking books over that side, Sapphire's back in there, and um, we're going to try and set up the geothermal generator. Because I wouldn't mind having the geothermal generator going in from here. So it'll be coming out from here. Please tell me that's not it. Is that all that's been blooming collected? Can't be, surely. Damn it. Where are you? Call me here. Yeah. Hopefully it's not. If it is, I may just have to use like lava cells or something. Come on. Does it stop pumping? No, it's still pumping. So there's still action going on. It may just it doesn't really look like it's pumping anything. Let's go ahead and check. Here, we're just gonna grab our torches. Everything just to make sure that we don't. So, oh, we've completely ah, <laughs> uh, brilliant. Oh, that's no good now, is it? It's no good. Damn it! Let's just go ahead and fill this up. Then we might as well fill the rest up. We need some sort of a like bigger lava source. I mean, I was hoping I didn't have to do that. Right, let's just collect a little bit of cobble just for the time being. Because I don't want to have to run back just to fill this in, so. I'm trying to avoid doing that. One more piece, and I don't quite want that. So, now that we are done here, we have uh, two dirt. Uh, it's probably not enough now. My luck? No, nope, it's not. Fly. I'm just gonna grab a piece of wood and goodbye. <laughs> oh wow, let's fly. Fly away. We're gonna need some lava um, to even get started. So I don't know whether it's worth just waiting for some more power. Maybe make like a bat box or something. Make a couple more solar panels. I can go mining. Maybe we could do that in the live stream. We can just go mining in the live stream. And uh, just mining for coal and things, and um, making like solar panels and things for uh, the geothermal generator. So let me know in the comment section below whether you would like to see that, because I may, I may end up doing that. Um, it's a pretty good thing to do. So we've got a recycler and extractor and ele another electric furnace in here, and it's just not being used. So I wouldn't mind having to do that. Pretty, pretty nice. Okay. Alright, there's our. There's nothing there. We're just going to go ahead and macerate that for a second. Okay, guys, well, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode off here. We have got our Mistcraft and Nether Portal set up, and it's a hell of a lot better than having the Nether Portal like manually, because the manually Nether Portal takes a little bit longer. Why the hell am I going over to the geothermal facility? I do not know, I keep doing that, don't I, because I think of the never. But yeah, um, yeah, we've got that set up now, so there's quite a few things going on now we can that we can do. So all we have to do now, if you didn't know, I'm just going to recap it. Just right click on it and then click inside that black, block, uh, black box and you're back. And then just go ahead and do the exact same over here and you're back. So, hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Um, if you have, please hit that like button and subscribe as well. Uh, and follow me on Twitter. Please follow me on Twitter. It's when I announce like streams and 
all the new videos being uploaded and that's probably the best way to interact with me as well so if you can go ahead and do that that'll be absolutely awesome um i'm considering can uh continuing the feed the beast series uh a little bit more than what i have been because the first episode was released ages ago and then i done the second episode on the live stream yesterday and it got a fair fairly good response so if you would like to see that as well let me know in the comments below and maybe i could do that again so Hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, please hit that like button and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next episode. Adios.